Hello and welcome, this is Eric from AD Racing Central. Regardless of what you think of the recent price increase on the PlayStation Plus membership tiers, you can't argue that there's a good number of games available on the service. Some of them are in the game catalog on the extra tier, and some in the classics catalog on the premium tier. Some of them are futuristic racing games that I tend to make videos about, so here comes, in no particular order, a list of the best 5 futuristic racing games on the PlayStation Plus extra and premium tier. Let's get started. Please note that unlike the games subscribers get on the PS Plus Essential tier, the games in these catalogs are on rotation, meaning that I can't guarantee that when you watch this video, all the games in the list are available. Number 1 is Jack X Comet Racing, the racing game spin-off of the long-running Jack and Daxter series that had its popularity peak during the PlayStation 2 era. Jack X is not a remake, but a straight-up port of the original game, making it playable on the PlayStation 4 and 5. What sets Jack X apart from the competition the most is that it's story-driven, just as the previous games in the series. You get the most out of the game if you are familiar with the characters, but it isn't a complete deal-breaker, as the racing in itself can definitely hold its own, even without the story. During Jack and his friends hunt for the gold medal in the Crash City Cup, you will race in various types of events, but the focus constantly lies on combat. Getting destroyed several times during the course of a race is not uncommon, and you will rack up several destructions yourself before the end. The varying tracks are filled with different weapons and power-ups, and races are frantic and fun. There's a lot of customization of your vehicles as well, and there's plenty of enjoyment to be had just going through the story while unlocking new parts and vehicles. In my opinion, Jack X is still one of the best story-driven racing games out there. The next game will be called either Jet Moto 2 or Jet Rider 2, depending on where in the world you live. The game hails back all the way to the PS1 era, and is a futuristic hoverbike game. Its age shows of course, especially graphic-wise, but there's also a lot of things Jet Rider 2 has going for it, even when compared to games of today. First of all, the setting is unique, as hoverbike games aren't all that common in general. There's a ton of characters to choose from, each with their own bios, and even if all the bikes are to a large extent just reskins, the detailed character portraits and the real brand sponsors really add to the immersion. The actual racing feels really good too. The vehicles have some actual weight to them, and in Jet Rider 2, it's very important to take the elevation of the track into consideration. Not only do you have to calculate where you will land after the numerous jumps, you will also have to adjust your lean angle in all directions, or you will surely crash once you hit the ground again. The energy grappling hook is a fun feature too. Jet Rider 1 is also available in the Classics catalog, but I found the sequel to be a bit more refined. On the service, you will also find Star Wars Racer Revenge, the sequel to the critically acclaimed Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Even though the sequel wasn't as well received, I think it's a solid title with tight controls, great progression system, and lots of tracks spread out over familiar locations. This is an anti-gravity racing game, with quite a good depth in its control, as you will have to power slide in the corners, manage your boost, and also manually repair your ship. There are no weapons, but the focus still lies in combat, as the familiar Watto will give you more credits after each race, depending on how many opponents you smash to bits. The credits are used to upgrade the pod racers of any of the many playable characters. I personally think this game has stood the test of time, and is well worth checking out for racing fans. Next up is Kinetica, that is one of the weirdest concepts of a racing game ever conceived. In this PS2 title, humans put on exosuits that transform themselves into motorbike-like racing vehicles with the one wheel on each limb. It's strange, but it works. The character ensemble is colorful and varied, and several racing archetypes are represented. You race along tracks in futuristic cities and immediately get the sensation that you're taking part in a popular sci-fi sport event. There's a mechanic in place too, where your character grabs the ground to make tighter turns, which is a funny take on drifting or air braking. In there, you can also perform various types of stunts that charge your boost meter, and the races overall feel fun, frantic, and chaotic. If you want to try a futuristic racing game with a very unusual aesthetic, make sure to check out Kinetica. And then we have Redout 2. This is a sequel to the critically acclaimed first game in the series, and even though some players prefer the title, I personally think that game number 2 improved upon all the right things. At first glance, Red Hat 2 might look reminiscent of Wipeout or other similar anti-gravity racing games, but once you try it yourself, it quickly becomes apparent that this game does its own thing. For starters, it's an extremely fast game that also has a very unique strafing mechanic that you need to master to perfect your cornering skills. The many colorful roller coaster like tracks will take you to various different locations across the solar system, and all environments offer different gameplay altering mechanics. For example, Mars has less gravity than Earth, 
and flying through water slows the ship down but also cools it faster. You can also get lost for days when it comes to the performance oriented and cosmetic customization. Reda 2 is one of the greatest when it comes to futuristic racing games and it's available for all PS Plus Extra and Premium subscribers. If you want to know more about Reda 2, check out my video about 5 reasons why you should try it and feel free to leave a comment about any of the games on the list. Thank you for watching, I am Eric from Major Racing Central and I'll see you in the next video.